Hey, you know Man Sky fans, I bet you're here. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 3 of my solo permadeath series of No Man's Sky. Uh, okay, now today we are going to be looking at getting some buried technology as per the uh, quest on the screen there. Um, thanks to the guys that uh, guys and girls that were leaving comments, that was great. There's some really good ones there. Um, and I noticed uh, Moose shouted out there saying a few uh, interesting tips which I had simply forgotten about early on, critical things to do in the game. Uh, one was just advising me that, uh, of course, cobalt and ferrite dust make the ion batteries, which help with the hazard protection in these on these planets. Uh, also, dihydrogen and carbon give me the life support, uh, or provide, uh, will allow me to make the life support modules, um, or capsules, whichever they're called, which will help with the life support, obviously. Uh, each one of those builds it up to, fill, fills up the uh, life support uh, and same with the iron batteries and the hazard protection and the other thing is too of course while you're out and about the tubers and the wheat um, they also uh, help with life support and hazard protection as well so I should be picking up those so I will be doing that while I am out and about looking for these very technology modules now uh, let's have a look and see if I can see any on the screen the technology modules, there's one there that's 389 see if there's anything closer just quickly that's that one. That's a lot closer. 174, 354. Alright, let's just get our hazard protection back up just quickly. And then we'll head out and go for those. Uh, we will be looking, of course, for um, a, a um, cave to get some cobalt. Uh, I'll have to check and see how much ferret I got on me. Let's have a look and see how much I actually got there. Not much ferret dust, so I need to get a fair bit of that and carbon as well. All that sort of stuff, actually. How much carbon do I have? I didn't actually check that. Let's have a look again. Carbon! 116. Alright, not too bad there. Alright, we're full up. Let's go and grab this very technology. That way we can at least get the teleporter done as well. Uh, and then I'll have a look for a cave. I don't know if I'm going to see a cave just here. Unless there's one down in that little... Down the bottom there. Not sure. That's right. Let's go up here and get this very technology. It's not far away. Yeah, do we have a damaged, tech, damaged uh, machinery here as well? It doesn't look like we do. No. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab this. Well, this is going down a fair way. Oh, there it is. I didn't quite get over the top of it. Oh, that's okay. All good. Uh, now, in these um, mini caves, if you like, that you make, it does stop the hazard protection going down. It doesn't make it go up. It's only the natural caves that will allow it to go up. Uh, let's grab some more. Oh, here comes a storm. Alright, let's grab some of this and then we'll get back. At least it's all downhill. Back to the uh, safety of the base. Oops, over heat. Wasn't watching it properly. Come on, get these last. This is actually a big lot of dihydrogen. It's good. Very handy. Alright, that'll do. Let's get out of here. Without dying, of course. Uh, where are we? This way. See how quick that hazard protection goes down the storm. Oops. Let's get some... Uh... That should be enough. Just in time. Alright, so we'll let that go up. So in the meantime, uh, let's see what we can make. Um... Okay, so we do have the dihydrogen now, the original amount of that, so let's uh, make up some life support modules, eh? Give that a whirl. Oops, get on the right spot. Life support ray. Oh no, I'm missing... Oh, I've got to make that... Yeah, of course, I've got to make the hydrogen. Alright, so let's make a few of these guys up. Uh, I can only make a couple. Alright, that's alright. Let's get a couple of these made up. Alright, so that'll help with life support when I'm out and about, when that's going down. Uh, I've only got four cobalt, so I can't do too much there with that. Um, so I do need to find a cave for that. We did get a uh, a couple of the technology modules. So let's get our teleporter sorted out. So go to the construction research unit. And it'll give me a list of what I can make. This is what I want to make first. So I need four metal plating. 
and two nanotubes. I do not have enough uh, ferrite dust. So I need 200 ferrite dust for that. So, let's see. Ferrite. That's carbon. Well, I need carbon anyway. Might as well grab a bit of that. So we just have to pretty much use, use the storm. Still use the, uh, the time I got in the storm to get some resources. Just have to keep an eye on that uh, hazard protection. Oh, come on. Ow. <laughs> and now I'm out of carbon again. All right. I'll jump back into base in a sec. Storm shouldn't last too much longer. But you can lose. You can lose a couple of. Uh, take, can take a couple of hits on the when the hazard protection runs out. But it's uh, best not to, really, because it's uh, very easy to lose track of it just for a few like, for extra seconds and that's it game over so yeah all right now the storm's over so let's try and get some ferrite dust it's mostly small rocks around here which is really quite annoying but, uh, that's the way it goes again excuse me uh, with my aim i am using a controller so it is uh not quite as accurate as anyone who's used the controller in these games knows i mean you, you sort of go left and right too can work as well Some more dihydrogen up there. I might grab that while I see it. And there's some more ferrite dust as well, so let's go grab that. Uh, like Moose said, we've got to get uh, a bunch of um, life support modules and also the iron batteries to help with everything. When I'm out and about, keep me alive. Just keep an eye on that uh, hazard protection now. Just want to get a few of these done. Is that a cave over there? Might be. Is that a cave up there? No, I think it's just it's sodium though. That's that's going to be very handy. Let's uh, just jump in here for a second. Just to get the hazard protection back up. At least in the buildings it goes up pretty well. Okay, so I'll see the uh, life support's down fairly low there, but I'll wait till it gets lower before I use the life support module. Is it called a module or capsule? I always forget. Oh, life support gel. Well, there you go. Wrong on both counts. <laughs> I'll try and remember that. So let's grab this sodium. I don't care if I've got over 250 out of this. That's, oh, I'm definitely going to get over 250 out of this. This is awesome. Let's might as well identify it while we're here as well. Why not? No, don't shoot it. It doesn't like being shot. Yeah, this is a good lot of sodium. This is really going to help. A few more. Very good. Right close to base too, so this is actually a great spot to have the sodium. Nope. Let's grab this carbon while I'm at it, and we'll have access to the rest of the sodium. Sorry about the whoop, tree got a bit crazy on us there, guys. <laughs> Alright, is that a lot? That's close enough to a lot of it anyway. Alright, so we get some more. Oh, is that damaged machinery up there? It is. Let's get it. I'll let that uh, life support go down a bit further. Living slime, I will keep that. It just gives it makes a couple of steps to to refine down to nanites. Just nice out of that. So we should be getting some the berry technology out of here somewhere. Where are you? I can see a lot on the on the, uh, on the analyzer too, which is good. I better use this. Uh, why not see how that built up the life support right up. Now, where is this module? Let's sand away a little bit and see. Can't actually see it. Maybe there's not one we're here with this one. At least we have plenty in a reasonable range. Oh, where are you? There you are. The worm. I'm glad he's not going to attack me. Tell you what, that would be trouble. Now, how's my 
Okay, hazard protection's going down. Oh, there it is, right there. That's good when it does that. Let's just jump back in here for a sec, and I'll come back and uh, grab a few more boobs, bits and pieces. No, up. Oh, jeez. That's part me, part controller. <laughs> mostly me part controller how about that might be more likely uh, okay so how much sodium did we get out of that let's see uh, where are we where's the sodium oh I put it across here already oh, yeah oh there you go we've got heaps of sodium all right let's not get any sodium for a while although we can make up obviously the sodium nitrate uh, iron batteries can I make any more of these yet no that's right I need cobalt for that yeah so now that's one thing I can't see around here is a cave there may be one down the hill a bit I did see some more sodium up there, not worry about that. I did see some of the red boxes, I think what they've been called now. Oh god, I don't read these things up well, well, well enough. They're actually called No idea. Red boxes. Alright. They're called search question marks. Okay, health is already at maximum, we don't need that. Uh, how are we going for carbon? Uh, 170, yes, we definitely need some more carbon. Oh, let's stand back from this tree. Shake a little bit too much on this planet, don't they, these trees? Oh, watch your overheat gauge, mate. Right, so anyway, um, we can rename the base. Let's go back to the base. We've done, we've got a bunch of stuff actually we need. I do need to want to grab a bit more ferro dust actually. I did say that, didn't I? Uh, where do I see those rocks? That's going to be pure ferro at that one. I won't be able to get that yet. There we go. Let's grab all these and then we'll head back and do our business. It's the sort of game, it's just, it's just chilly. Just take your time. Even in permadeath, you can sort of take your time. So long as you make sure you keep an eye on your hazard protection and your life support um, it's it's just it's still it's still a chill game you know it's so much fun just to play and you can just you can just go around and identify stuff if you want you don't have to really do anything you can just go around to all the planets identify everything and get some scanner modules to put on your uh, on your multi-tool get money pretty quickly that way you know, that's, that's one one easy if you, if you can get the uh, the scanner modules for your multi still it, it certainly adds money hey get out of my base but um <laughs> money very quickly uh what are we doing okay base can be renamed all right let's have a chat to our base computer oh what are we going to call it eh oh this is this is where the uh the lettering is really awkward okay i'm gonna have to put the controller down and type this thing what do we call it something something very original i reckon RPG A1, how's that sound? So I had to actually type that in with the um, keyboard. A lot easier, that is for sure. And accept. There we go. And we will upload the base. Won't worry about a screenshot just yet. It's not exactly uh, too exciting to look at. Okay, so we need... Now, did I get 200? Yes, I did get... I got plenty of fried goods, so I can make four of the plating. Done. I needed two nanotubes as well. All right, now we can go back into our... Oh, back into our base. I'm in the base. Done, dead. Uh, let's put our... Where do we put it? There's not much really, not much room in here just yet, but we can expand this out at some point. So there's our base teleport module. Let's just drop it there for now. Close enough. There we go. All right, so that part's done. Supply power to the base teleport module. Select powering the base in the mission log. I've got to learn to... Uh, create the biofuel reactor. Now we don't have any more salvage technology, so we need to. I'll show you just on here. Anyone that hasn't seen it? I'm sure most of you have, but those that haven't. Okay, so these are the things. These are things in this screen that we can learn. So the biofuel reactor is the next thing we need to do. Okay, and we need. Oh, we do have one. We did pick up another. Okay, that's good. We can do that. Good. So I need to make one more metal plating. I have the oxygen for that already. That's good. Um, I'll get the wiring, that's free. Let's get the wiring now. That's good, that's actually free, that one. And I will be making some batteries and solar panels as well. Uh, these guys I'll get at some point too. So, all right, let us make a metal plating. And now we can make the biofuel reactor. Drop that in there. 
OK. Now it wants us to power it up, so we need to go to the wiring, join her up, and now we have that wired up. Now we need to fuel it. Now it'll take uh, carbon and condensed carbon. Now for the purposes of this I'm only going to use a very small amount of carbon. That'll do for now. Okay, because there's no need, I'm not using it right now. Right at this point in time, I will soon, but not just yet. And I can always add more, so you can you can uh, you don't have to put a full amount of carbon in every time because that does chew through the carbon that thing. Um, okay, so we have explored the planet, and I just missed that last bit. That's okay. Right, let's go back to the base computer. See what it's got to tell us now. Accessing log additional archives recovered. Entry four nine two five follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating sixteen from the space station. And that's the end of the archive. Okay, so there's no more I can learn from this at the moment. I need to go to the space station. Now the reason I went to the space station earlier is because I can now access the space station from here. Otherwise I would have had to get in the ship and fly up there. So we'll go to space stations, click on there, and warp to there. Like I said, I would have had to jump in the ship and fly up and find it. So finding the space station first uh, is a good idea for sure. Okay, and we've also talked to all these guys too and done all the bits and pieces. I think uh, I don't know, I've had enough money to get the extra slot. I have to check that on for my extra suit. Um, so we need to talk to three people. Now these three people will not talk to us again. So don't talk to. Uh, now I don't know if this has changed. One of you might be able to tell me, but the traders here, you don't want to talk to them because you lose the ability to talk to them. Uh, I may be wrong, they may have, they may have fixed that because it, it, it should be fixed. It's not something, it's something that's too easy to go, get wrong. Too easy, too easy to accidentally do. So what I try and do is find three people with the same sort of colour on them if I can. Uh, looks like brown's the colour of the day. Maybe. We'll see. So, because we don't know much of their language yet. Okay, so now we just have to ask questions to them about the this next quest we're doing. Okay, so now he doesn't want to have anything to do with me, so I'll just show you now. It'll just say leave. He'll talk and then he'll just say, uh, Oh no, I can actually, there you go. I didn't know, realize that you can ask the same person. You know what? I'm not going to in case that's a problem. I, I, just in case. Uh, one of you guys can also, again, can tell me that. If uh, talking to the same person for each of those questions is a problem or not, I do not know. But I'm not willing to risk it in case it somehow screws something up. And it may do, so I'm not sure. Okay. Right, there we go. So now, visit the cartographer for directions to outpost and other buildings. Um, yeah, right, let's let's visit let's visit the cartographer. Take missions to the mission agent and use the teleporter to defend my base. Okay, so I can re Right, well, while we're over this side, let's go to the, uh, this guy, if, if he allows me to, I have some quests, no, no, I can't yet, okay, I forget what the actual trigger is for that, uh, like I said, I haven't played a lot of this recently, I played some, but not a lot, and I haven't taken much notice of when that happens, alright, let's jump across the other side, how much money have I got, 9,000, I'm tempted to buy all that ferro dust too, you know, see if I have yeah I have upgraded the suit okay how many how are we going for nanites not enough nanites to buy uh, an S class of anything but I don't think they had anything I wanted I don't think this guy had a scanner module an S class because I really want to get a scanner, an S class scanner module obviously I want to get another multi-tool too of course okay so he's selling multi-tool upgrades so purchase multi-tool upgrades. Here's a neutron, neutron cannon module. Not getting that, and that's all he's got. So he's only, the other things he's got are not really what I want right now. So I'm not going to buy anything from him. I've talked to all those guys. Let's go across to the cartographer, like it suggested. It's not part of the quest, but it's just something you can do. It's just letting me know I can access this guy. Bit of back and forth. Sorry about that. Should have done him first. Okay. So this is the cartographer. Vic! Vic the cartographer! Good on you, Vic! 
Cool Bex looks up. Swiftly scans me and reveals the catalogue of maps and charts. And he talks gibberish to me at the moment. So I can ask for help, I can exchange specific charts, and I can purchase a random map. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go number one. What's he got to tell us? They point a map on the screen and then, and then towards a depiction of the waypoint towers found on most planetary, at most planetary sites. They seem to be requesting I gather data from these towers. Okay. Talk to him again. We'll buy one. Let's buy a map, eh? And it's a random one, so let's see what it is. Might as well use it and see what it is. Okay, this is good. This is a uh, a distress signal, or it could be a freighter as well. Oh no, abandoned building. I beg your pardon. There you go. Abandoned building. building bleh, let's get your words right up. Abandoned building. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the base now. Okay. We do want to get more uh, salvage technology as well, so we can keep getting our base upgraded. This is not a permanent base, of course, but it's it's going to be a base for a while, that's for sure. All right, base computer wants to talk to us again. The little icon above, the red icon there. Let's have a chat. Select new task. Begin decryption. Okay, so it's decoding. Traveler, traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay, so now we have a signal from that. Life science detected. So that's where we need to go. That way. How far is it? It's actually not far, but I'm not going to be running. I'm going to be flying there for sure. Okay. Uh, hang on, let's just jump in here for a sec while it's warm. Or warm. Clear of the uh, hazard, hazard we have in, on the planet here. Now, I still need cobalt, of course. Uh, I've got one more life support at the moment. Oh, what am I missing there? What am I missing there? Uh, where are you? There. Ah, oh, dihydrogen again. Okay, that's right. Okay, I can make some more of this, so let's do some of this. Let's do a few of them. And that uses oxygen too, so I've got to be careful of that. So that's going to run our oxygen down a bit too, but we should be good to go there. Alright, good. So we now got another three of those. Okay, good. So we've got four of those. So I want to get cobalt for the iron batteries. Okay, let's head out to... Oh yeah, that's the other thing is too, when you don't have a, a landing platform of your own uh, and you teleport down from the space station, it just blocks your ship out in the middle of, no, sort of, middle of nowhere. Sometimes it lands in the base. <laughs> it's quite funny when it does that. Alright, we need some launch. We need to make one of those. Alright, let's make one of these. We need one metal plating. Oh, really? I ran out of ferro dust. <laughs> That's a cruel game, aren't you? Alright, let's grab a bit more ferro dust. Anything down here? There's a little bit. Run away, man. Don't want to shoot you. Oop. I'll go back and finish that off. Okay. I should have bought the ferro dust up in the uh, space station. That's right. I'll just grab these few and then we're good. A little bit extra. Why not? Oh, that was carbon. Oh, there it is there. Alright. We shall go back in the ship. The mining beam is nearly down, so let's chuck a bit of that in to fill it up. Just saves doing it later on. Alright, so we are now going to make... Oop, wrong button. Okay, so we need to make one of those. So it's a metal plating we need to make, so let's do that. Uh, you know what? I should make two. Oh, I haven't got enough. Okay, that's all right. Let's just make this now. We'll fill up our launch thrusters. Okay, and we can take off and we'll head off towards this encoded signal and see what's out here. Nice and close to the base, which is good. Just looking around to see if I can see any other structures too. There's another one over off to the right there, but that's all right. We can find that next time around. No, it's a little way off. This one. How far is that? Ah, it's probably a trade station, that one being that far. And one thing you can do is you can just go above the, uh, the atmosphere here a bit. Ah, 
I could have uh, pulsed out there too, of course, but I will. Um... Now we'll go straight. Oop. I'm actually above it now. There you go. I'm close enough to above it. That worked out well. Now this is an approximate location, so what I'll do, oh, I was going to say what you can do, if you can't see what it is, you can do a scan and quite often a little, one of those little houses will show up near that icon there. So, let's not crash this time. I know it doesn't look good, but we'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, no more running into things, eh? That was that was so close, like, close last episode, wasn't it? So close. All right, so here's our icon here. We need to speak to this little ball of metal. Log damage, partial records available. Signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Who knows? Nestled among the debris, I find a pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. So let's request the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes from the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. So we'll take the blueprint for that. So now we have the ability to make a hyperdrive. Now, this ship, uh, the pre order ship, uh, actually has a hyperdrive already. So we don't need to make one. Uh, this one's for a conventional starship, not a freighter of its size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. So there we go. That's a plant. So you see up top left there, install a hyperdrive. That's complete because I already have a hyperdrive, so it's accepted that. Uh, what I might as well do, let's have a look and see. Where are we over here? There are some uh, little buried treasures under here, so let's find these cargo pods they're called now I don't know if I've got what I need to open these yet we will see in a moment yep, it's on the top there it is okay what do we need do we have it Cobalt. We don't have it. Okay, well, why don't we just have a quick look and see if there's a cave around here. The problem with the freighters is this quite often it's a big area the freighter covers. So, that's not a cave, I don't think. Let's just have a quick check. I don't think it is, though. Pretty sure it's not. No. Journey milestone completed. Travelled 8,000 units. I think it's units. Oh, didn't mean to get that, because our health is already at maximum. Some sodium. Now, I will grab this rusted metal now, because I can convert that into ferrite dust. Oh, life support gel, that is very handy. These green uh, containers always have rusted metal in them at the start. Iron battery, even better. Okay, maybe it's telling me something. Uh, what else can I see here? Now, to keep an eye on that has a protection as well. Not seeing a, a cave just here. Yes, I know. I've got a little bit left in it. A little bit of juice left in it. I'll go back to the ship and then I'll uh, have a look for cave on this side. Nope, oh, get over that. I know it's falling, but there's my ship just over there. So there are six... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. So, so you can take a couple of hits there, but it did, did knock a bit of health off me. Okay, so now I've done that. It's given me an, an, an auto-diagnostics report. So the hyperdrive is successfully installed. Fuel status is empty. So now I need to head out the stairs. It stars, it looks like. But without warp cells, I won't be going anywhere. So I need to find a source of antimatter. So now we're going to search for some antimatter. Uh, so I need to go into space to do that. I don't know why it's looking like that on me. Um, let's just let our... No, let's do our life support first. Let's get that going. We don't want to forget about that. Okay, so that's full again. Do we have anything to sell? Nothing to sell just yet. So we've got a couple things to convert those into nanites. 
I might let those build up actually and the rusted metal into uh, into ferret dust that's good I think it's two to one I think that uh, converts it into that's pretty good uh, what I mean I'm in the excess set so I'll put these things I don't need on me in the starship I'll hang on to that because I might find more of that uh, everything else pretty much um, are things I may use although the rusted metal I suppose can go in the starship for now all right now are we back up to scratch okay we are let's have a little look over which way yeah this way let's see if there's a cave I know I shouldn't be running everywhere but I do it's just how I do it all <laughs> makes the life so it goes down a lot faster of course cave not seeing much these frozen planets can be difficult to find caves on sometimes as in you know if, if there's not one directly in the area where you are and there'll be plenty of freighters we can uh, we can dig up more yeah I'm not seeing much in the way of caves there all right that's okay let's go back to the ship Let's grab some ferro but uh, dust while I'm here. Might as well grab it. Alright guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to finish it up here. Uh, not a bad spot. I'll hop out to save it. And uh, what we'll be doing next episode, we'll be heading into space and doing a scan to find the antimatter. So, yeah, that's what we're up to. So what I'll do is I'll finish it there. Thanks a lot for joining. If you enjoy the content, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you all on the next one. See you later, guys.